it going, everyone? Today we're back here on the jury account. A little bit about the gameplay before we get into the topic. I thought that this bison was actually pretty good. He actually gave me a pretty decent run for my money, right? And he was punishing a lot of the fake stuff that I usually do. Um, down here in these ranks, there's a couple things that I do that aren't real, but nobody really punishes. So if they're not punishing it, I'm abusing it. While trying to be very careful about not building it into a habit. For example, you'll see me do Jury's heavy release into her medium release, which is not true. You can jab at, you can jab me out of it. And you'll see him do it. Medium release is also negative four, and I think he punishes it a few times in here. I looked afterwards, and he has like an 81% win rate. He's at the decent player but he doesn't play ranked so if you're seeing this for any reason consider playing ranked i think you could get a little bit further than you are already anyways today i want to talk about the best two ways that i found to you know lower anxiety and to stay calm in high pressure situations we talked about this a few times on the channel but i think there's two specific things that i picked up on from other creators and pro players that I think has taken me a lot further than most of the things that we've talked about here. Of course, those other things are important, but I think it's almost like meditation. It's it's like finding uh, what works for you, right? If you've ever tried to do meditation, there's so many different versions of uh, ways that you can meditate. Once you find one that really works for you, sometimes you like to stick with it. So the first thing I wanna talk about is breathing. I got this idea from Brian F's competition and anxiety video where he said this. And I believe it's also due to me like not breathing properly. I'm tensing up so hard and not breathing that it causes muscle spasms in my body. I was so nervous that I had to stop right there. I, I went back to character select initially because I felt something was wrong. I had to stop there and get up and stretch. I, I could have collapsed right there. That was mostly in reference to his back problem, right? His muscle spasms as a result of not breathing. But what I picked up on was the breathing itself. Because I didn't catch myself doing this until he said so. Until he said that his body tenses up a lot. A, a light bulb like went off in my head. And I sort of said to myself that this is something that I do too, and it affects all aspects of your gameplay. It affects you physically, your nerves start to shoot up, and it also affects your execution, right? Your body is tense. It's not ready to do any sudden movements or react to anything as fully as it's used to. When I, you know, thought about it, I tried to implement this in my game, but as stupid as it sounds, it's like system two thinking to remember to breathe while you're playing. I'll catch myself in the middle of a game saying breathe, right? Saying breathe to myself. Although in all other aspects of your life, your breathing is system one, your body's doing it by itself. When you are playing the game, it becomes a little bit of system too until, you know, it starts to become muscle memory to make sure that you're breathing properly. And when you do realize that you're tensing up and you let out that big breath of air, it's very freeing. It really does put you in a much better mindset. Even if you do take a few hits because you're distracted for a second, I, I feel like it's worth it. What I've been doing is if I don't catch it mid-round when it's like, you know, round two in between rounds when the announcer's talking, I sort of check myself and that's been helping me out a lot. Side note that I think goes along with breathing is your posture, right? If you're sitting up straight, I think the air flows through you a little bit better. It's just something to consider. If you're ever in band, like in middle school or high school, uh, they, you remember how they made, used to make you, you know, sit up straight the whole time while you're playing your instrument for airflow? I, I think it was a real thing, right? <laughs> Back then, I thought they were just pulling our chain, but it, it's a real thing. I think, you know, having proper airflow and sitting properly really does take you a long way. It takes you a lot further than you think. Now, the second thing that I want to talk about was brought to my attention by Black Neo, the one in the comments. I'll put his comment up on the screen here. And he said, I had a small opportunity to speak to Infectious. He gave me some advice to learn nothingness. If you win, you don't celebrate. If you lose, you don't get angry. If you're on tilt, rest your mind. And when you're done playing, reflect on your gameplay, win or lose and get better. I think Brian kind of touched on this in the same video. So I'll link that down below. And Infectious also has a video on tournament nerves. Um, but this advice from him, I think says a lot. Not only is this kind of, you know, his, his like personality, right? Uh, if you ever watch Infectious play in a tournament, he's always very straight faced, cool, calm and collected, almost robotic. But I think he brings up a great point when he says to learn nothingness. This is very much a sensation that I felt when I played in my very first exhibition. And I actually won, you know, I actually, I lost the first game, but I didn't get upset. I just knew that there were five more games that I needed to win. And I won five straight. After I won the second one, I didn't, you know, pop off. I didn't get excited. I just said, all right, four more. And I think by taking it game by game and sort of not reacting, uh, you know, emotionally to the game can take you a pretty far away. I will admit at the end, though, after I won, I did pop off in my room by myself and ran down the hallway. After that, I sort of fell back into my ways, right? I would get tilted playing ranked. I'd get tilted losing to whatever um, casuals. Anything would, would tilt me, right? And if I won... I didn't bask in the glory. I felt that nothingness when I won, but when I lost, 
I felt a lot of anger. I think in some ways I sort of strive to feel like this, but seeing it written out in words, uh, I thought was really cool in the comments. I wanted to share with everybody who didn't get to see it. I know we've talked about basking in your glory, but also relishing in your losses on this channel. And I think that if I had to tweak the quote a little bit for myself, I would say, just don't celebrate until the job is done and just don't feel, you know, despair until the job is done. You can always make a comeback and so can your opponent, so don't let your guard down. And that's sort of the philosophy I strive to go for when I'm playing in long sets and tournaments or ranked casuals, whatever it may be. Anyways, I think that's it for today. Please do consider subscribing if you like today's video or any of the videos that you've seen in the past. And thank you guys for watching.